stuff I want to look at is at the Tate Modern. I did find some interesting stuff and I'm relatively glad I went. It didn't take me too far out of the way, but I'm trying to walk to the nearest underground station and look at this craziness. I can tell that in front of me, we're about to get an incredible view of something. Might be Big Ben, might be Westminster. What a cool park. Okay, so that would be either... No, that's not Westminster. Uh, is that the other tower to the Big Ben? The one without the clock? Let's see how much I know. Anyway, I'm trying to get to Westminster Underground so I can go to the Tate Modern, which is the one I meant to go to. It's also near my next stop. because the next thing I want to go to is on this side of the Thames, but I wanted to get a good view for Harry Potterness. Uh, okay, so this is Shakespeare's Globe. Here's Shakespeare's Globe at Rothschild. Here is tickets to Little River Cruise. This Millennium Bridge. I'm on the hunt for another Banksy though. I'm on the hunt for a Banksy rat. So, here we go. a good camera but I was walking under this overpass almost got hit by a car there's a tourist attraction right there London Bridge experience supposed to be a haunted attraction and look what I found that would be another Banksy that's a Banksy rat it's in poor condition but I'm gonna get some pictures of it so somehow I ended up at a mall Um, I'm supposed to be getting food because I'm starving, but uh, maybe let's do some shopping instead. I like this accessorized store. Let's go in here. I'm still walking. Um, just found my bank seat that I was looking for. Well, that was a while ago. I've been walking since. Interesting stuff. This is Tourist Central, which is good for me. I like to feel safe. And off the beaten path by myself. Doesn't feel safe. Now I'm looking for a place to eat inside. Waiting for Sarah, whose bus is late. Um, she went to Windsor Castle. And I want to see all the pictures and videos she took. She better take a bunch. I let her take the good camera, which is why I'm using the bedroom. Or my phone. Oh, a bird on 
off landing on my head. Okay, I'll take some pictures. Okay, so I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but I'm walking across the Tower Bridge. Get on. So here is one of the huge sides. Uh, still by myself. Sarah is making her way back from Windsor Castle. And I have a walking tour to get to. So we're doing this separately. But that's okay. We'll be able to experience it. Pretty awesome view from here. Maybe you don't have to pay to just go in. Yeah, you just go through there. Oh, you do. You do. You gotta pay. It's not expensive, but there we go. it in there. It's not even a rush through. I'm not sure. It's right. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to. Okay, so I am on a walking tour, looking at street art. We haven't made it to any of it yet. He talked about, and there's pictures, but. Um, we crossed over a wall that used to signify the end of the city and the beginning of the poverty. And so we're in the other side of the wall. However, he has said that in recent times it's become much more um, hipster or affluent, whatever you want to say, but it's still definitely different from what we saw on the other side. This whole building's tilted. Do you see this? Those windows and everything. At Hoop and Grapes. Um, Jimmy C comes from Melbourne. What he does is a sort of a hybrid between um, street art techniques using his um, Belgium and grew up in around the forest there and liked to collect uh, skulls and various um, uh, bits of animals basically that he found lying dead in the forest. Apparently, his house, even now today, is full of all this kind of these weird artifacts. Like taxidermy and stuff like that. I found it weird. Anyway, that's obviously his inspiration. Um, this is actually, believe it or not, one of the smaller um, pieces that he does. There's a couple of other ones you can go if you wanted to go on a bit of a walk after the start making monetary gain, then you're not really a street artist, then you're just an artist who does work on the street as well. I am kind of flexible in my view on this. I don't have a particularly strong view either way. I, I see that argument, but I also see the view that if you're a um, street artist, and a lot of these guys come from quite humble backgrounds. Um, if they want to be able to make a living out of doing it rather than doing another job and being a street art, artist by night, or that's being a Over somebody else's piece. Yeah, so that, for that reason, each of these artists 
owns that particular uh, spot. So it's right there, direct. Carlin says that there's a cool piece of you can just get a bit of it from that fan. They are um, made to look like, you know, if you buy cigarette packets in this country and also several other countries, they come these days with health warnings on them, so smoking pills, etc. Um, it's written in exactly the same font and the same style as those are. And rather than being a health warning for smoking, this is a you know, health warning for, uh, for captains. Afterwards, it got defaced by people who don't mind banks. Um, and so, the people who owned this yard at a time when it wasn't like it is today, like busting and cars, it was really cool. They, this is when they were really trying to get people to come to this area of Lane to be like, come on, it's actually really cool. They were really thrilled to have a piece by Banksy because it was going to be a big draw, but they were worried that if it was defaced, people wouldn't want to come and see it. So, they put this box around it. And it's actually had the opposite effect. It's made it look less distinctive rather than more distinctive because now it just looks like a sort of piece of trash rather than anything in uh, particular. You can't even see the image of the group behind the wheel. Um, so, Maxi, 
why would people come and face it? Why is it so panicked, etc.? Um, Banksy moved to London like well, just over 10 years ago. We did. Alright, we've made it to Camden Market. Lots of really cool stuff. Seems a bit like fake sketch. I see Camden Lock in front of us. Yeah. It's like a mixture of actual legitimate stores and a mixture of these weird stalls. Oh yes. It's a big boot up top. Ooh, I like those shiny ones. Oh, they have all those Keep Calm shirts. Cambridge University. Oh, I like that. And if you're trying to haggle, you need to, you need to lie. I didn't want that. I am an adult and I don't need that corgi, even though it's adorable. Oh, hey. There's Harry Potter up there at the top. A lot of tattoo shops and piercing shops. Although it needs to go here to here, they're gonna put it there. That water is disgusting. Oh, look. look. There to here. The water's nasty. It is disgusting. Yes. Oh, I think this is a boat right here. Yeah, it's got trash on top of it. They had a picnic up there. It's probably someone's houseboat. Maybe it's hers. It's got an audience. Camden Market. There's so many different areas of it, but unfortunately all the vendors are closing. Sarah swears up and down she didn't want street food, but now here we have steamed buns and she's all about it. I've made some purchases so uh, about done with this day because I'm so thirsty I need a drink so see where we go from here this is water this green stuff it's called Camden lock because it's the water lock where they let boats up or down the river. So there's the water bus stop. And that'll take you to locations where you need to go. Oh, there's so many bugs right here. Ooh, I'm getting hit in the face with bugs. Thank you. 